what up y'all? It's your boy Night2727 and I wanted to show you some gameplay footage of Nano Assault EX. This is a good eShop game. Um I don't know if anybody really knows about it. It was pretty cheap. I think this one was 15 bucks. Uh you can use the circle pad. I'm telling you, this is a really good game. Um graphics are nice. Just one of them games I decided to pick up on the eShop and it turned out to be really good. Shoot! And since I found some time to record some videos, I'm gonna be throwing a couple up today. Um, probably go back. All right, I can't lift it. Um. Like I said, a lot of um, basically like a lot of the newer games don't give you a lot of bang for your buck. This gives you story mode, arcade mode, which you can just go through for a high score again. Um, boss rush mode, self-explanatory, survival mode. Like at least you, you know you're given two great game modes after you beat the story. And even arcades, just if you want to go through it a second time and get like higher score or something like that. It's nice that some games at least are giving back you know and actually giving you some replay value so this is actually worth it um and it's good with the circle pad pro so we're gonna do a story mode uh, i'll probably just play one of the earlier missions uh, might be the second cluster i don't know i think it might be this one just a good one i think uh you get like different weapons and stuff that you can choose this one's like a homing missile Basically, with the left circles pad, you just move around, and with the right, you shoot. Pretty simple. Oh man, I don't think I wanted to do this one, but this has a amazing use of 3D. And I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to play this looking through the camera or not. This is going to be a little difficult. I think I actually need to look at the system for this game. But they they vary like in the types of levels that you have it's not just like looking like this sometimes you're just like moving and you know it's like because you're like in these germs or whatever so you're like floating through all the germs in the body and stuff it's really really cool the 3d is absolutely amazing um and especially to be an eShop game using the 3d better than most retail games and that's a, that's the honest truth a lot of the other missions kind of remind me if you ever played uh super mario galaxy how you can like walk around the planet. This is like how a lot of the levels are, especially like the beginning a couple of missions. This is just like a boss battle, or I don't even think it's a boss. It might be like a mini boss actually. But this thing in 3D looks amazing. This particular level. This game is just like action packed and it's just like so fast paced. You know, you got great graphics, uh, the 3D is just looking fantastic. It's one of them games just test your reactions. Um, I'm usually not even into these like space shooter kind of things, but this is just great. It's something quick, you know. Since these top retail games aren't really worth, uh, worth it, you know. Like half of these games, I uh, see a new retail. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna buy that new. I'll wait till the price drop. And that's how it honestly is for these most new retail games. So it's not even worth it. So I'm starting to experiment with these like lower price games, and this is actually good. You I mean you get more game modes than these forty dollar games? 
This is way less. Um, I'll do the mission before this, since this one ended kind of fast. So just show you like the versatility of the level. So you have like something like that, a boss battle, and then I'll show you like the regular mission. Um, if you can look in the eShop and actually see the game itself, um, like a video, and it's a 3D video, I'm not sure if they have one up, but go ahead and take a look because it's worth it. Just know that the, the 3D video never looks at how the actual gameplay does because it's a, a lower quality. Here we go. This is just an example of like how the levels look. I mean, they, they look great. And like I said, like the 3D is absolutely, you know, top notch. Wow. Yeah, this is why I don't need to be looking through the camera. I can't see all the attacks coming up. Um, the goals for these, I'm probably gonna get a game over. <laughs> Um, the goals for these are basically just like for these type of missions to, to find all the enemies, kill them all, and to collect all the DNA samples. I think there's like three of them that you gotta find. So I'm scared to even get that because I have someone died. Alright. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, Mario Galaxy or if you ever watched Dragon Ball Z, King Kai's Planet. I able to like go all around. You know, crazy level design, nice enemies, and they always come from different angles, and because of this, you gotta like pay attention to every little detail. But this is my first time ever playing in 2D, so it's a little different. You know, even like the way that it plays, I have the circle pad on and the way I have the camera set up, I'm not actually holding the 3DS. So it's just kind of sitting on the table here, and I'm just moving the analog sticks, and so it would play fine. So it's a really casual game. Create more noise while I'm recording. Thanks, phone, for ringing. Appreciate that. All right, gotta find some DNA samples. Already got one. Gotta start getting creative with the plan and start looking at each little detail. There's another one. All right, one more. Then I gotta finish out by killing everybody. I actually thought I died. <laughs> That's cool. Um, isn't like a button or something like that that I can change my shot? Yeah, you actually change your shot too, so I can do like more of like a spread to help you out by hitting the L button, or just have that kind of shot. And if you hit the R button, you can do that. Like, like I showed in the beginning, you can pick different ones, different special attacks. And I think that was to go reheal my special attack so I could have more of it. Don't really like using the special attacks, do. Yeah, if you got the extra funds, you might as well pick this up because if you're looking for something to just play and actually have like a decent lamp, so this is actually good. That's the last DNA thing. Kill these couple people. Alright. Now it's just another level. Um, it seems to have like a decent game length. I'm not sure exactly how long it is, but this is just something I'll play like maybe a mission or two and cut off and play it again in a, like a week or something. You know, sure. That's it. Um, they have like clusters, so like I go to like chapter one, I guess. We'll sell cluster one. So you got like three missions, and you go into the next, you know, next level or whatever, and you got like five of them here. Um, three. Then you got four. Alright, so I didn't unlock five. I'm not sure if it is a five, but I mean, you see, like, these are nice series of levels, and plus you got alternate game modes, and it was like 15 bucks. What, some of the best 3D I've seen on a 3DS to date 
it's not just like that you know there's stuff that does pop out a bit and it's just like the way the planet looks it's just absolutely amazing that it helps the graphics just extend more there's unlockables you know you can um see pictures or whatnot or whatever but um let me know if you want to see more gameplay of this i can give you some more information you can just write a comment once again this is nano assault ex you should check it out it's on the eShop about 15 bucks once again, I'm into the ITE2727. Thanks for watching.